Welcome to another Spotlight Photographics tutorial video. Today we're going to be talking about the brand new Groundbreaker Team Poster Series. This is probably one of the most exciting series we've uh, actually released and I wanted to show you a little bit about how each one of these templates work so you can get a better idea of how they will function in your environment. So we'll get started and we're just going to go down a couple of the designs here. Uh, first I'm going to show you the broken field. This is the football field and as you can see we have multiple layers on the right. All of our templates regardless of where they are in the spotlight catalog are going to function the same meaning that they will have the full layers they will always be editable you will always be able to change the colors and you'll always be able to move things around. A lot of people like to take elements from one poster or design and move them to another design and you're free to do that. Uh, once you own the templates you can do whatever you'd like so let's go through this template here and give you a little idea of how the groundbreaker broken field template is laid out as you can see you have again the layers on the right here and we'll just go down the layers and kinda turn them off so you can see what we've got uh, so we have the player images which of course you would drag and drop into the into the template and that is leaving us with the actual template so now we have some elements of fire we have the back fire here. We also have the front fire, so you can turn those off if you'd like. You also have the football field, which you can turn on and off. Uh, so if you wanted to bring a different floor in, you could do that. Uh, we also have the fire on the rocks below in different sections. And we have the rock layer. And then of course we have the stadium stands in the background. Now we have left the, the football field. So in this one you can see you have a lot of different things that you can change. Uh, you can move these elements around. There's not a whole lot of color changing in the football template. Um, obviously if you wanted to change the name on the top here, you could obviously change that to a different color if you'd like. Um, other than that, uh, you know, there's not a whole lot of color changing on this template obviously, but you could. So if you want to change the name to your team name, uh, let's call them the Jaguars. You can simply type as you would in any other typing software and adjust that temp to fit the area. And of course you want to change the, the color of the name. You can just go to your uh, character palette and we can change that to blue if we want. Um, and you can pretty much adjust this one as you'd like. So let's move on. Alright, so the next one we have in the breakout series is going to be the busted court. And this is one of the more popular ones. Uh, it's, it's used uh, for basketball. You can use it for really any sport that utilizes the wood, uh, wood basketball court. Um, so it doesn't have to be limited to basketball. But again, we're going to have the same uh, features we had in the other one, where if we turn our team layer off, we're left with the template. Uh, and then of course we have the fire in the front. This is actually a reflection of fire that goes on the floor here. That's a little different than the one we just looked at. Uh, but we have that fire in the back. We have the fire in the front again. And just like the template we showed you again, we can turn off any of the fire if you didn't want any of it. Uh, leaving us with the floor and just the ground underneath. Now the one difference that this one had with the other template is we have this light flare here. Now, this flare will have a hue and saturation adjustment layer above it, which you would simply click on this, and then you can move your hue bar and change it to the different color that you may want for the team you're using. Again, the text is still editable the same way, um, but you can slide that bar back and forth and get that different color. If you wanted to move that light flare somewhere else, you could move it somewhere else, um, or you can even turn it off if you know that's better for you <coughs> so again this poster is in, in multiple layers so let's move over to the cheer breakaway and this one has a little bit uh, more options to it uh, obviously you can see we have the cheer mat at the bottom and with that cheer mat uh, you might want to change that to a different color for a different team so if we come down and go down to where the floor is you can see we have a hue and saturation bar again. So again, we'll take that hue and saturation bar and we will drag it uh, 
I apologize, my Photoshop is acting funny right now. But if we drag that bar, you can see that we can change the floor to whatever color floor that you would like for your team. So if they're blue, you can change it to blue. If they're uh, purple, you have purple. We have the red, we have the yellow, and all the way through any different colors you want. There's green, teal, and we can change that color. Now, we also have these uh, shines of color on the, on the name at the top, and those are simply the light flares that we had in the other poster, except for this time they've been masked into the text. So again, we can change those to whatever color we want. So now we have it to blue. And again, we have the same features as the other one. If you go down the layers, you'll notice that we can turn off the team layer. So now you can actually see the entire design. We've got the nice stars bursting in the background. And we can turn off the light beams. If you don't want the lights on there, you can turn those off. And you can even turn off the uh, texture of the floor. And all the way down, again, if you wanted to remove the fire, that is still a standalone uh, element on here. So, again, you can change these templates to be whatever you'd like them to be. So, moving on, let's go ahead and close these. That might be why my Photoshop is acting a little funny. Alright, so we'll go on to the cracked ice. Now we're in the hockey template. Once again, everything is changeable. Colors are changeable. So, for example, this backstop here, the uh, the padding that goes around the ice, you can actually change the color of that in this template. So you can come down here, you see the main board color right here, and that is using a color overlay. So if we change that, you can see it's blue right now, which means that that's that blue area, and we'll say that our team is uh, green and white. So you can change that to be green, and then you can change the bottom stripe by clicking the color overlay on that and changing that to white. So now you've changed your board colors in the back. Uh, you can also change the color of the lights at the top. So you have another color adjustment layer on that. So we can change those to be green if you wanted those to be green. And again, the flare that's on the text can also be changed to whatever color you'd like that to be. And of course, you wouldn't really want to change the ice color to a different color, so that's that's one thing that we probably wouldn't change. But now you can change that to a, a different color scheme for your team. All right, so moving on, we're going to go to the fractured bases. This is the baseball or softball template. Once again, everything is in layers. This one is kind of like the football uh, template in the sense that there's not a whole lot of color changing you're going to want to do on here. But again, you can turn off the fire if you want to turn off the fire you can turn off the fire bursts underneath. So you can change this in and out. Um, even the fence is removable on this template. So you can see there's a lot of different things you can change on this as well. So moving on, we were going to be going to the Road Rage template. And yes, if anybody was asking, that is me in the photo. Uh, I had to trade my car in, so when I made the uh, road template for uh, cars, I thought, well, what, what a better tribute to the car I had to get rid of uh, than to make a poster with it. So uh, this one, just like the other templates, is in layers, so we can turn that layer off and you're now left with the road. Uh, you can see that we have the checkered flag in the back. Uh, that th All the elements are changeable. Uh, we have all these different lights coming down the street. So if for some reason you didn't like the lights being on, you can one at a time turn those lights off. So if you only wanted the front lights to be on, you can turn on just the front. So that's nice. And we can go down there and we can even turn off the light poles, take those away. Uh, again, you have the fires and different elements. And all the way down to the car name, once again, we have that adjustment layer again, where we can change the color of that. And we can even change the backburst color to the color that you'd like. So again, able to be adjusted. So we'll move on. And we have the shattered spike. Now this one is a lot like the basketball one except for it has one key feature that's involved which would be the um, this netting in the back. Now obviously that is its own element 
so you can turn that on and off but we went a little bit farther on this one and I have made it so that you can actually change the color of it so now you can feature a pole color for whatever your team's colors are so as you see you can move that back and forth and change the colors of the pole uh, once again all of these other things that are blue obviously if you see a color in any of our templates that means that color is adjustable so again we'll change this color and we can change that burst in the background and we can even change the bursts that's in the front by going to that hue and saturation level and now you can change it over the shine that's on the words up here again another flare layer and that also can be adjusted so you can really adjust this template to be whichever color you'd like as well alright so we're gonna move on to takedown and takedown is a new one we have a lot of people that ask for wrestling templates um, obviously this one is the same uh, you can do a lot of different things with this one as well same color changes all the elements are also changeable in here so um, you can turn off any of the elements you can turn off any of the fire if you'd like uh, but as you can see that template works just the same as the other ones um, and you can even turn off the lights in the background if you'd like so again just to move on a little quicker here we'll go to tee off and tee off is uh, the golf now a lot of people looked at this template and said well you all you did is go to the golf course and take a picture not so this template actually was built in pieces um, out of different photos that were taken and uh, I'll show you how that is so you can still adjust this so for example say you didn't want these trees in the back well that tree is the tree line layer and you can get rid of that uh, you can also get rid of the flare at the top change the color of the flare just like we did before um, the grass is its own layer and even the flag and the cup you can remove or move and it goes anywhere you want it to go I just put it over here on the right because we did have that added green that was added um, but again removing the fire if you didn't want that and you're left with this kind of a template so everything on that one again follows the same lines of everything else and we'll go to the final one that we have right now which is the track poster obviously you can see we don't have images here if you uh, don't see a template in the groundbreaker series that for a specific sport that you need if you submit your images to uh, spotlight photographics and photo solutions market uh, we will build the template and you will <coughs> you will actually get a free uh, copy of that template if you submit your images to be used for it now the the key is that if we use your images so we do have a lot of images that come in we are very picky about the images we use uh, sometimes we get more images for one poster than we can you know pick from so if you're lucky enough that your images are used uh, you will see your images right here and uh, w you will get that copy of the template so uh, obviously for this one we don't have track images so if you're watching this and you have track images and you'd like this poster uh, send them in to Sean S-H-A-U-N at spotlightphotographics.com uh, for consideration so uh, let's turn off that layer there and we can kinda see what we got going on we've got the track uh, we've got the fire going on we've got the uh, eroded uh, fence line and we've got the stadium lights uh, all of those are of course changeable and removable uh, so if you didn't want the fence you can take that off um, <coughs> you also have the fire again is all in layers just like we had before uh, same with everything else colors are adjustable uh, the flare on the lights uh, that would be actually that flare there but the um, the lights that are at the top obviously could be turned off uh, if you didn't want those on there too so that is the current templates that we have right now on the Groundbreaker series. Uh, if you again have pictures and you don't <coughs> see the sport that you'd like, uh, please contact us uh, and uh, let us know. Uh, and they're always we're always adding more templates. So if you didn't see your sport on this video, uh, go to the website photosolutionsmarket.com and click on the Groundbreaker template collections in the categories, and you can uh, browse all the different designs that we have. So. Uh, thank you again for coming and watching a video tutorial series from Spotlight Photographics and PhotosolutionsMarket.com. 
and uh, we hope to see you again soon.